how many of us have really ever thought in their life what is the purpose of our life wow so much evil in the quran muhammad killed people i saw muhammad beheaded people cut people's hand off kill those who don't believe in allah this could not be from god everything jesus said is the message of love forgiveness the victory of life over death the victory of love over hatred and i saw that that he's the savior the redeemer and this video did really make me think, is Muhammad actually a violent person? I need to get to the bottom of this. Let's ask ChatGBT. Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. <laughs> So today we're going to discuss a little bit about Prophet Muhammad. Uh, so I want you to reference the Quran and the Hadiths. So the first question is, did Prophet Muhammad ever personally kill anyone? In the historical accounts, there's no clear evidence that Prophet Muhammad personally killed anyone. If we look at the Hadiths, can we just delve into Prophet Muhammad's character during warfare? Certainly. In the Hadiths, Prophet Muhammad is portrayed as a compassionate and merciful leader during warfare. He emphasized ethical conduct, prohibited harm to non combatants and encouraged humane treatment of prisoners. After victories, he would often express sadness, saying, do they not know what is better for them? This highlights his preference for peace and reconciliation. I didn't know that. All right. So another question I have is like in the Quran, how many times is the word jihad mentioned? In the Quran, the term jihad appears around 41 times. Can you define the actual term jihad for me in like one sentence? Sure. Jihad fundamentally means striving or struggling. And in an Islamic context, it refers to the effort to live a life of virtue, to spread and defend Islam, and to improve oneself and society. Really? That's crazy, because the stereotype is that jihad means war, to die for God, basically. Where did this come from? The stereotype that jihad means dying for God likely stems from a misunderstanding and misrepresentation of the term, wow. especially in the media and popular culture. Hang on a minute. So if that's the case, in the Quran, how many times is the word jihad actually used for like physical violence and in wartime? In the Quran, out of the 41 mentions of jihad, only a few specifically refer to physical fighting, really? and these are under strict conditions emphasizing defense and protection. The majority of references focus on the broader concept of striving in the path of God, which includes personal and spiritual efforts. Well, wow. so why do people always stereotypically say that Jesus was love and Muhammad brought hate and violence? Like, where does this even come from? The stereotype stems from selective interpretations and misunderstandings okay. of religious texts. Where did this misinterpretation come from? Muhammad's role as a leader involved guiding a community in both spiritual and worldly matters. His life encompassed a broader scope, including governance and conflict, as he sought to establish a just society based on divine guidance. This often necessitated defense and political strategy distinguishing his role from that of Jesus, whose mission was more singularly focused on spiritual teachings. Mm, okay, thank you so much, ChatGBT. Uh, I think I got a lot of clarity from that and hopefully you guys understood that as well. Thank you so much for watching and if you guys have any more suggestions for future videos, please drop a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Welcome back, friends. I hope you enjoy the video. My dear brother and sister, when I watch this kind of videos, like the Christian, the Jews, when they are using bad words for the Prophet Muhammad, it's really sad in my heart because this is your Iman that Al Prophet Muhammad says nobody is a Muslim if he if he prefer more love to me more than their parents, their kids, and each and everyone. So for the first of all, we have to show our love for the Prophet Muhammad and after that the rest of the world. Now, if these people using bad words like Christian and Jews, they know, they really know, they know the Prophet Muhammad more than their own sons, their own kids, their own children. They know more than their own children that Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger. But this is the only ego that has come between them and their Islam. That's why they are not accepting Islam and now they are uh, narrating bad words like he said Prophet Muhammad was a virus. No, he was not a virus. He was the, you know, in the history, 
nobody can be like the prophet muhammad you know a non-muslim write a book the most uh, valuable personality of all the time he give the prophet muhammad he was a non-muslim but he give prophet muhammad as the first as number one in his complete life prophet muhammad sallam never beat a children he never beat an animal then how you can say he was a wild Jihad is another thing. Jihad means to struggle, to raise high the flag of Islam. When you defend your own country, when you defend your own religion. Just for example, if these uh, Western media like BBC and CNN, if they say that Islam is the religion of terrorism in the name of Jihad, then I have to ask a question from them. If some people come to attack your own country, you will be defend your country or not? Then they say yes. So simply we are defending our country, we are defending our religion and that's why we give the name of Jihad and you give your own thing that uh, your own uh, army, your own protection etc etc. So in the beautiful part of the video when the chat GPT replied that no Prophet Muhammad never harm a single body. Chat GPT is not a vital source for our uh, for us. We have our Holy Quran. We have Sahih Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad from the uh, glorious Quran. When you learn about the Prophet Muhammad, Almighty Allah says, "Lakat kana lakum fi Rasulillahi uswatun hasana." So, my dear brother and sister, just to research about the history, research about the Prophet Muhammad. He was not a violent person. He was the he was the best personality for the rest of the world due to his good deeds most of the people they accept the islam i hope you enjoy the video if you like the video subscribe the channel and share it with your friends